Good morning, boys and girls. We are going to be looking at lesson two from our force of motion um, science chapter today. And if you will uh, get out your science book and open it up to page 108. And what I want you to do is when we stop at one of these questions and I read the question, I want you to pause the video and try to answer the question on your own. Now, after I read it, I will answer it. So I want you to pause it and answer on your own um, before I read it. Okay, so in this chapter, by the end or by the end of this lesson, you will know how the pull of gravity affects the motion of objects. Um, and our only vocabulary word from this lesson is gravity. So our first question, to make sure you have your book open to page 108. You hit a ball 20 feet up in the air. Your friend standing near you catches the ball when it comes back down. What force causes the ball to fall? Write how the force affects the motion of the ball. So, so go ahead and pause your video so you can answer this question. In the answer, the force that's causing the ball to fall is gravity. And it affects the motion of the ball because it is pulling it to the ground. So that is the reason that the ball comes back down. Gravity is a pulling force. It pulls things towards the center of the earth. So look at the girl jumping in the air. She will not float up. Gravity will pull her down. So think about when it rains, gravity is the force that pulls the rain down to the ground. So if you think about movies that you've seen where people are in space and they're just floating around, that's because there is no gravity to pull them back to the ground. So you um, would be able to float around if we did not have gravity. So the girl is being pulled by gravity and she is being pulled and you can see this arrow. She's being pulled back down to the ground. So this little exercise, if you think about what is going to happen to the ball, you can draw a line. You can pause the video to take time to draw a line. But basically what would happen, the boy, the force, the boy is pushing the ball up. So the boy is pushing the ball up and it's going to go up and hopefully it'll be, hopefully he's pushing it with enough force to get to the basket. But then once it gets there, it's going to come down because gravity is going to pull it down. So he is pushing it up and gravity will pull it down. All right, now I want you to pause and think about this one. A cause and effect situation. Remember we said this chapter had a lot of cause and effect. It was, this text structure was cause and effect. Right, what would happen if gravity did not pull on the leaves in the picture? So think about that for a second and write your answer. You pause the video. And if gravity was not pulling on the leaves, they would just keep floating around in the air. We would just have leaves and people floating around in the air without gravity. So now we're going to talk about gravity and weight. So look at the little girl playing with the toy. Gravity is pulling the toy down. Gravity pulls things towards the ground unless something holds them up. So how much something weighs tells how strong the pull of gravity is on it. The table weighs more than the toy drum. The pull of gravity is stronger on the table than on the toy drum. So anything something that is heavier is going to have a stronger pull of gravity. So it's going to be, so if you dropped the table and the toy drum, the table is going to um, land on the ground first because it is heavier. The pull of gravity is stronger because of the weight. <clears throat> so if we draw an arrow to show how the toy moves because of gravity, She's pushing it, but then it's going to fall down because of gravity. But it probably doesn't weigh very much, so its force of gravity is probably not too strong. All 
All right, and then if we look at this, um, write why the toy bear does not fall to the ground. So you can pause to answer that. And the reason that the toy bear is not falling to the ground is because it's sitting on something flat. So it's pulled, it's pulled as low as it can pull. Now, if you pushed it off the table, it would fall to the ground. And then for this one, right, whether the pull of gravity is stronger on the girl or on the ball and tell how you know. So pause it and answer that question. And the pull of gravity is going to be stronger on the girl because she is going to weigh more than the um, ball will weigh. Okay, so that is the end of lesson two. Um, you guys just have to do the lesson check for this one. And tomorrow we are going to look, start looking at magnets.